rainy weather didn't keep spectators from lining St. Petersburg's yacht basin to witness Flight 2014 take off and retrace the Benoit flight more than 100 years ago from St. Petersburg to Tampa. Kermit Weeks, founder of Fantasy of Flight in Polk County, has been gearing up for this day for years. He built a reproduction of the Benoit, which was the same type of plane that Tony Janis flew on January 1st, 1914, all in hopes of flying the aircraft again today, but it just wasn't ready in time. We got the airplane built. We got everything running. We just kind of ran out of time. So uh, we'll, we'll get it flying. I hope to make the flight in 2014. That's my New Year's resolution. And pilot Ed Hoffman and the Hoffman X-4 mullet skiff took the Benoit's place by retracing its flight from St. Petersburg's Yacht Club to Peter Knight Airport in Tampa without a hitch. A piece of Tampa Bay's past celebrated in St. Petersburg. This skiff airboat crossed the bay to mark the 100th anniversary of the first flights connecting Tampa and St. Pete. Well, it's history. It's history especially for the St. Petersburg area because this is the first time there was a scheduled airline, basically. So uh, the Benoit flew from St. Pete Basin here over to Tampa, and it really cut, the sh cut short the, uh, the path. Um, usually you had to drive around the northern part of Tampa Bay. It took hours to get to Tampa, so this sh could really shorten the trip. 100 years ago, Tony Janis flew a Benoit across the water. A replica of that plane was supposed to fly today, but the creators say the plane just wasn't air ready for the event, so they used this plane instead. 